One in eight women will get breast cancer in their lives. And this week's Faces in the Crowd has not only dealt with breast cancer, but she did it while pregnant. Here's more on Tara's story. enthusiastically rings the bell at Regional Health John T. Fakurovich Cancer Care Institute. It signifies the end of chemotherapy treatment and the beginning of a new hope. About a year ago, when Tara was 15 weeks pregnant with her third child, she felt a lump in her armpit. After further testing and the lump doubling in size, she was shocked at the diagnosis. The mother of two sons at the time found out she had breast cancer the same week she found out she was pregnant with a girl. What to do next was in question as the cancer was aggressive. Some hard decisions had to be made. So being 21 weeks pregnant and finding out you have breast cancer, not knowing what the stage is because they couldn't do CT scans because I was pregnant. They couldn't um, do a lot of different of the tests because I was pregnant. And so the first thing they told me was um, to consider aborting the pregnancy, doing a medical abortion. And I said that wasn't an option for me. And um, they said, okay, well, then the first thing that we need to do is surgery. So about 24 weeks pregnant, I did a mastectomy on my left breast. No complications. Uh, they removed the entire breast um, and lymph nodes. They removed 47 lymph nodes and all 47 of them were positive for cancer. So because of that, they staged it as stage three cancer. They said that I needed to do treatment right away. I needed to start chemo. She began her chemotherapy in Sioux Falls while pregnant. Action needed to happen if she and her unborn daughter were to survive. She was forced to be brave, not only for herself, but also for her family. I was like, I have to beat this. I have to get through this because I have a little girl growing inside me. I have two boys at home that I need to be strong for. So I had to kind of suck it up and you know, even for my family, they took it a lot harder than I did and trying to be strong for them too. She walked away from this life-changing experience learning a few lessons, like don't wait for tomorrow to get something done and to be proactive in your own health. Have a bucket list and do things on those bucket lists and, you know, see things and don't, don't say, oh, I don't want to do that. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. So don't wait until you have cancer to do something you've always wanted to do. Just do it. The biggest thing that if anybody can walk away from this story is um, just like get yourself screened. Even if you don't have breast cancer in your family, you also, if you do get cancer, any kind of cancer, breast cancer, you really have to educate yourself on like the different treatments, what the side effects are, and to know, like to really understand what it is. You know, I, I've really learned a lot through all of it. And Tara still has treatments ahead of her and plans on having a mastectomy done on her right breast as well. She credits the support of the community, family and friends for getting her through those tough times. And if you'd like to nominate someone to be featured in our weekly Faces